In China, the BDS navigational system helps millions of people do everything from ordering a taxi to tracking a delivery. In the U.S., GPS has simply become a way of life. I heard 160 Sutter Street, San Francisco, California. Is that correct? Yes. Now, the U.S. and China have negotiated compatible signal characteristics that could eventually lead to better service for users of both systems. By agreeing to work together on a consistent standard, that should make the process of developing future chips and other things that use GPS easier. And remember that GPS is used in smartphones. It's going to be used for autonomous driving. It's going to be used for a lot of applications in the future. That future is now at the startup Civil Maps, which creates cognition for cars, the ability for self-driving cars to develop a mental map of the world. If both constellations are interoperable going forward, we can uh, essentially achieve better accuracy for all of the different geospatial needs. Civil Maps is working with major car manufacturers like Ford, but it also has Chinese investors, which means Beidou and GPS could give a boost to self-driving cars in China. China is really interesting. We believe going to be one of the largest markets for autonomous vehicles. There's certainly a lot of demand. So standardization, collaboration across different government bodies are very important uh, milestones. And Beidou has made quite some progress in the recent years, and uh, the precision and some features is really good, right? I think this kind of cooperation will help the localization part for self-driving cars. Self-driving system is a very complicated engineering task. It's better to cooperate and leverage different industries different uh, companies to leverage their best technologies to get this technology available sooner so that people can benefit from this technology. James Wu's startup DeepMap has so far raised $32 million off the promise of building high-definition 3D maps for self-driving cars. Chief Operating Officer Wei Lo shows how their technology combines GPS, inertial measurement unit sensors, HD cameras, and light detection and ranging sensors to help a self-driving car create a memory of its surroundings. The map tells the car what the road should look like if there is no other moving object around it. You'll see some green lines. This is where we use our machine learning capability to derive traffic rules to help cars cross intersections. GPS currently plays just a minor role in self-driving cars, but industry experts agree that a growing exchange of information between the two biggest markets in the world is a positive sign. They also hope this will lead to increased cooperation in other areas of technology to enhance innovation worldwide. Mark New, CGTN, Mountain View, California.